All right, in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to in, um, enable authentication with biometrics, so your fingerprint and face ID. So um, just one thing to note, on Android, you can only use face recognition with um, on Android 10. So I'll show you the official docs. So. See, Android 9 includes fingerprint integration only for biometric prompt. And on Android 10, it includes fingerprint and face authentication. So even if your device is Android 9, which is Pi, I believe, and so if it's Android 9 and it has face, it still won't work with this. So it's not an official Android biometric prompt API. So that's just one thing to note. All right, so we'll just start. We'll create a new Flutter project. We'll click Flutter application. And Flutter app, that's fine. And Flutter biometrics. Yeah, that's cool. We'll just leave it at Flutter biometrics. That's what I have the project location. We'll click next, Flutter app. You can change that how you want. And use Android X, Kotlin, and Swift. So just click Finish. And so let it create the Flutter, Flutter project. So this is the package we're going to use. So it's, act, it's by the actual Google's Flutter team. So we'll go to Installing. We'll copy this dependency. We'll add it to the public spec YAML. And let me stretch this out. Uh, all right, so you'll put it under the SDK right here. And just break backspace once, so it's right under Flutter. And paste that local auth dependency. Save it, and then click pub git. So next, um, well, first, let's just wait for this to download. So it's right now it's downloading the library, the local auth library. So anyways, <laughs> okay, so after you see this, that means it's finished. So now we'll go to main dart. We'll go ahead and close the public spec YAML. All right, and we'll just run the app. All right, so now the app is loaded so you see this is the basic thing we get every time so we're going to change this up so instead of increment which i actually just moved to the side so instead of increment or yeah this is basically so we'll change this to person or fingerprint i mean all right so now you'll see a fingerprint right here. Okay, and then so we'll remove this text right here next. We don't really need that. We'll change this text to say um you have been authenticated. All right. I'll just save that. And then we're going to add some more functionality. So you can get rid of increment counter and counter. So which we'll throw an error right here, but that's fine. We're going to write some new code. So um, we'll just do try auth. And they have code in here for you as an example. So we'll import this first. So copy that. Import it under this material dart right here. And then next we'll find the spot where it has the accept, find exceptions. And just copy, or yeah, just copy this import. Because we'll need this. And I'll give you a link to this page. So you're able to copy this as well. So, And I'll probably upload this code. So you can copy it as well. So uh, next, just copy this right here and paste it. 
inside of your trioth method, which it might have closed if you have four matic on. So you see it gives an error here. So two things we need to do. First, we need to make this local auth variable, which they give us up here. They just have it named something different <laughs> for some reason. So we're actually going to put it above this method. So it's um, global. And we'll change this um, to match the global variable. It's given an error because this needs to be a sync function. So in front of the opening curly brace, just type a sync. Error should go away. And we also need to make this a global function. I mean a global variable, sorry. And we'll set it to false, which I believe is false by default anyways. But And remove bool under the try catch so that we actually reset it. And then you can, yeah, I'll just call set state afterwards just to be safe. So that way, um, we're going to update this text. So we're not going to show it. Basically, we're not going to show this text when it's not authenticated. So or we can show two different texts, I guess. But anyways, just um, click on text. Hit Option Enter or Alt Enter. Um, click Wrap with Widget and type Visibility. Then um, we need to fill out the visible parameter. So has authenticated or has wait been authenticated? Wait, is that right? Or did authenticate? Okay, so it'll be did authenticate. So this will only show when you authenticate it. And when you change this function for the floating action button to um, be the new function, which is try auth, which you won't have the um, parentheses when you just put it in press like this. So, so that's fine. We could change this if we want. Authenticate or biometric. I don't know. So there's more steps we need first before this will work. Just a couple more. So you see now we have this fingerprint here, and we don't have we don't show the message yet. So we have to do a little quick setup for iOS and Android. So for iOS, pretty simple. Just need to copy this code. Um, click on project, of course, and then under project. So you go you click on iOS, and you'll go under runner. Then you'll find info plist, double click that, and right under dick for the dictionary. Um, just paste it right here at the top. We need to change this string right here. Basically, you have to put something appropriate for your app of why you want to authenticate with either face ID or touch ID. So we're gonna put biometrics needed. For increased privacy of your profile. Uh, you can put whatever you want, but all right, and then Android. First we'll go we'll click on Android, open that up, click on app, and then click on source and click main. And so in main there's an Android manifest file. So you need to add this permission. So you just copy this uh, line right here. Because this is already in the app. So the manifest part. It's just telling you to put it inside manifest. So you put it right above application. So not in application, right above it. So I'll go ahead and add another empty line just so to make sure you understand. All right. And then next we'll go to Kotlin. Um, con click com it'll be con it'll be based on <laughs> what your package name for your android is so this might be different these three folders but you click on main activity you just keep opening them up until you get to main activity and then don't worry if it shows errors sometimes it does sometimes sometimes it doesn't so we're going to change this from flutter activity to flutter fragment activity and make sure it's the io.flutter.embedding Android one and not this one. 
Okay, and just save it. Don't worry about the errors. Um, okay, and just go back to main. Okay, stop it and let's do a fresh install. All right, so you'll see, you see that it doesn't have any errors. So now I'll actually run it on my real device and I'll show you that. So, all right, so here's my actual phone. Um, so I'll just hit the authentication button. And ask me to touch my fingerprint sensor. And then now, uh, since we've authenticated, it should now show you have been authenticated. So yeah, that's how you um, authenticate on Flutter. And I have a video um, for iOS that I'll show you as well. All right, so um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.